This is your boy King David, and we're here to talk about uh, the buffer length. Um, some people are having trouble with distortion on their tracks, and they're wondering why when they build up a whole bunch of tracks, the sound begins to sound distorted, kind of like this. <laughs> Nasty sound. All right, so what we have to do then is we have to adjust our buffer. Now, it's measured in milliseconds. Right now, we're at 18 milliseconds. And if you press play... <laughs> There should be no distortion. If you're getting distortion at 18 milliseconds, you might want to up your uh, processing speed on your computer and also your memory. And that will give you a lot more buffer room so that you don't have a distortion on your on your uh, playback. All right, and that's pretty much the answer to doing that and to fixing that. Uh, some of these items will help improve your performance um, using a 32-bit buffer use your hardware buffer or use polling. I keep them off because it actually works better with the CP my CPU and my processor uh, and then I keep it set to safe overload. So this what that safe overload will do for you it will keep your computer from freezing up on most instances. I can't promise you that all the time. Alright, so this is just a quick lesson from King David, David and Goliath Music. Um, check us out because we're going to do some more uh, tutorials here shortly. I want to give you some uh, help with this fruity scratch. And we got so much more in store for you. All right, it's your boy King David, David and Goliath Music, BeatClass.com, where we give you inspiration towards music creation. One love.